Well, hello, 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 my pickles, my turtles, my snowflakes, my no matter what club members, and of course, the darling Goldilocks, my favorite. This is too hot. This is too cold. This, this coffee is just right. I love Goldilocks. Love turtles, too. Here's my little turtle just so I'll remember that recovery with our metabolisms is gonna be slow like a turtle. It's just how it happens. And so we're just grateful we found keto carnivore carnivish at our age, so we can just have a chance at that gold ring, maybe sterling silver, and, and just feel so good that we got here, right? So, today's little topic is just something that I was thinking of. I heard the word and I remembered so much about it. Euphoric recall. Sound familiar? Sound like something that maybe you can identify with? Sound like the season that's going to be coming at you and hitting you in a number of days in a big, major, major way? Euphoric recall. <laughs> I was laughing because if there's two areas in my life where I've had euphoric recall, it's when I was with somebody and we broke up. Now, when you're 69, you might have a number of relationships that broke up in an unkind way like I did. The euphoric recall with them is that, yeah, he wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. Well, he's changed. I can just tell. And he did have that nice side. He was a great gift buyer, especially good jewelry. So if any of you have a euphoric recall with a relationship, you can identify with me. And now here comes the food season with a euphoric recall. Oh my God, look at that plate. Oh, M G, how much did I used to love those, especially the way she made them? Oh yes, that's euphoric recall, where we do we can taste it, we can feel it, we it's in our stomach, it's on our tongue, it's such a euphoric recall, and it's so freaking dangerous because it's not going to end pretty. It's not going to end the way you want it. Even if there was no stomach um, disorders, if you had no digestion issues from eating it, even if everything seemed like you could do it, like you could walk away from it, that it wouldn't talk to you again, you know, guess what? It doesn't always play out that way. And if you've been good, at your program, meaning abstinent, not cheating, not treating, not licking, not sniffing, not slivering, any of those things. If you've been doing all of that, you don't want to screw up now at this point, right? And once you do, you're going to feel honey, 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 that you had that item in any amount. It's just the way that it goes. Is it fun? No. Do you feel left out? Of course. This is the season of FOMO, fear of missing out. You don't want to be part of that, right? You don't want to have that FOMO going at you this season where everybody else just eats it and has fun and laughs and, you know, compliments the person that made it and everybody else, everybody else. And you're sitting there going, yeah, I'd like my burger medium rare. <laughs> aren't we a mot aren't we a lot? A glum lot. Well, I was just in this cute little store that was mostly Christmas decorations, but they did have a little bit of jewelry on sale. And so I began to talk to this man, and it ends up he's from OA. What do you know? Probably 70, 72 in great shape, but you know, he's a, he's a, 
It's up here still, all of that. And he was a runner and now he's a walker now that he's gotten a little bit older. And that's how he, how he fooled them all because he ran it off as fast as he could. So it was just kind of interesting connecting with him. He said, yeah, we had a little meeting. And I said, yeah, we did. I said, I was in OA in the 70s. He didn't say when he was. But we don't want to partake. No bite, sliver, taste, lick, whatever. Bite off of somebody else's plate. It's not going to be worth it. And I will guarantee you that if you have one of those little bites, slivers, tastes, licks, whatever, that it's going to talk to you. It's going to come back at you and it's going to say, see, nothing went wrong. Nothing happened. You can have that. It's no big deal. It's just a holiday thing. You'll, you'll be able to have it. No, you won't. No, you won't. And it's going to haunt you. And you might escape that party after having just that lick bite sliver, but you hit something else and it's going to be there. Or if you're like me, you don't have that item, of course, that homemade item. And all of a sudden, a week later, you find yourself wanting a bag of Cheetos that has nothing to do with the sugary white flour nummy that was over there, right? <laughs> How does that happen? Cheetos? And then, of course, then I start laughing because I always remember Doug from King of Queens and, you know, orange fingers, face in the bag, all the way, tilting it up like a dog. Have you ever seen a dog like with a bag of something? How they tilt it up and they just try to get every, yeah, that's me. That's me if I have something then, even if it has nothing to do with this other item that's suddenly looking good. The head has been lit up and I'm thinking, cheating, treating, why notting? Why not? Everybody else is doing it. I got FOMO. I got a bad case of FOMO and that euphoric recall of how wonderful it's going to be and how I can just stop at that and move on how it's going to work. Trust me, my friends, my community of pickles, snowflakes, no matter what club members, turtles and Goldilocks, it doesn't get better. It isn't going to work out. You may be more sorry than you think. Say you've taken off 31 pounds. You worked real hard at it. In fact, it took you a whole year because you're 63 years old and you want to, you want to blow that whole thing this season. You're, you're holding on to your chair and your program last year at this time just to make it through. And you did. And now this is going to be your second food season. Don't blow it now. You don't want to blow it now. You want to be safe. You want to be in it to win it. You know, we're all here. And if I can do it, I want to think that you can do it. We can go, you know, we're, we're, we're yes, the stuff that we gave up, we gave up. Oh, boo hoo hoo. It's tough sometimes. It really is tough. I'm here, I'm trying to be abstinent every single day. I am abstinent every single day. And I don't want to be swayed by any of those white sugar, white flour items that are bad oil, bad oil, bad seed oil. <laughs> you know how they'd say something about somebody? I remember an old fashioned saying was, that person's a bad seed. Yeah, well, bad seed oils, they're going to get you. I can smell them on on people that I pick up an Uber that work in some fast food places that deal with nothing but the bad seed oils. And even that's addicting, right? It's like kind of interesting how that all turns out. Don't be swayed. Don't, don't lose it over something that's just not going to be worth it. The consequences and the hangover and the withdrawal are going to stay with you. So stay strong. Know that You've come all this way, all those non-scale victories. I don't know if you've ever read other people's comments, but you know, suddenly they can have one treat and have gastrointestinal issues for three days. You don't want to be that way. You don't want to have a cheat meal. I, I see so many keto YouTube channels, people, um, not so much carnivore, 
but the keto people that have cheat meals all the time with the reasoning that life isn't for giving up everything and things like that. You don't want to be one of those. You've already, haven't you had your quota? I've had my quota. I've had my quota and I don't want to go back there. I like things the way that I like them. I like going to bed abstinent and waking up abstinent. You can do this. You've got this. Don't be pulled into euphoric recall. And of course, that that comes along with a bonus of a saboteur, a food pusher. He made them just for you. Great. Great. Wrap them up. I'll have them when I get home. And then as soon as you get home, or maybe before you get home, you push that button on the car window and out they go. Or you live with a non non-food plan person who will take care of them for you that night. <laughs> like me, like me with mine. So be careful, be good. I got your back, you got my back. If I don't, you, if I don't, I hope you won't. And we're in this together to be, to be winners at the non-scale victories, at keeping our health, at ha saying goodbye to pain, at at helping our metabolism as much as we can. There's no getting away with it. I know sometimes you think you can, but you really don't get away with it. So be careful. I'm thinking of you and let's let's all be abstinent together. Here comes that season. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.